Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing well. My name is Afkash and since its inception, the Hugging Face GitHub repo has almost 70,000 stars and almost 16,000 folks, all in just under four years. And this success made Hugging Face the unicorn worth $2 billion and received $100 million Series C funding. In this video, we will learn how Hugging Face is on the mission to make sure the AI machine learning models are available to anyone who would want to use them and how Hugging Face is bridging the gap between AI researchers and the AI consumers. So we have organizations like Google, Microsoft, OpenAI, Meta, Big Science and many more and your organization can also be part of the organizations which actually perform the AI research. The output of AI research is your model and this model is ready to be consumed by a person like you or me or anybody available in this world. And that is what it creates the full end-to-end -end consumer pipeline where the large organizations or any organization generate a model after the AI research and the consumers worldwide ready to consume the model. But to make this happen, is a very big problem and this problem is actually solved by the hugging face. So now let's look into how does hugging face solve this problem. So we have already understood that these large organizations at your left including yourself is creating these models which are generated after a complex process of AI research. These models are ready to be consumed by the consumers. Hugging Face comes into the picture and make these models available outside these organizations at your left through their model hub. It means the models has been moved out from the corporate boundary or the enterprise where they are being generated and they are available to be consumed by the external world at Hugging Face model hub. In the next step, Hugging Face provides an interface called the Transformer, which is a Python-based interface created to be consumed by very popular machine learning libraries such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and JAX. It means you can use the Hugging Face Transformer in any of these in libraries interface by using either TensorFlow or PyTorch or the JAX. Next, Hugging Face provides the interface for the training as well as tuning where you could perform the training and the tuning either in the local environment it means hugging face environment as well as your own local or you can also use the SageMaker. Hugging face also provides you the inference capabilities through its pipeline interface which is part of transformer and both training tuning as well as the inference can be done on the CPU, GPU, TPU, multiple GPUs and the custom hardware. And that is what the value provides and that is what the value provided by the hugging face which makes the models generated by large organization or any organization to the consumer worldwide just using their transformer interface and consume the model. In the next step, we are going to learn how the inference pipeline works at Hugging Face. So we have learned that Hugging Face Transformer provides the pipeline interface, which can be used for rapid inference. You can load the pre-trained models plus the tokenizer, which is associated with your pre-trained model. And finally, apply your problem set, whatever your problem context is, and collect your results all through one single transformer pipeline. So what kind of problems the pipeline can solve? These problems could be related with text, image, audio, multi-model, as well as tabular and not only that, it also supports 
the reinforcement learning. Within the text related task, the pipeline can complete tasks such as sentiment analysis, text generation, name entity recognition or the NER, question answering, fill mask, text summarization, translation and feature extraction and even more coming into the list. With the image processing through its rapid inference pipeline, it supports image classification, image segmentation and the object detection. For the audio, it supports audio classification as well as the automatic speech recognition or the ASR. With the multi-model, you can actually have the image to text and text to image, including the feature extraction and few other capabilities. With the tabular, you can perform the classification and the regression. It means you can just bring your structured tabular data and you can perform the classification regression tasks. And with the reinforcement learning, you can also perform the reinforcement learning task through its transformer pipeline. So you could see that just using the hugging face transformer pipeline, you can perform all of these tasks. Just load your model, apply to your data and collect your results. So how you can use hugging face pipeline? And that's what we are going to look here. So we have several types of pipeline tasks. These pipeline tasks are supported by your model hub because if you are performing the inference, you need a model which is available ready to be consumed. So your inference at Hugging Face Transformer Pipeline, it's a three step process. So your very first step is to create the pipeline by using Hugging Face Transformer. Here you are going to provide a particular task which you would want to complete through Hugging Face Transformer Pipeline. So the task you are going to select will be the one of the task which is part of Hugging Face Pipeline task. And the model will be the one of the model which is available at the model hub. It means that model is already being uploaded at the Hugging Face model hub. If you will not provide the model, a default model related to that particular task will be downloaded and that model will be the one model which is very popular among all the available models for that particular specific task. There are other parameters depending on the task you are using you might have to set. Next in the second step your job is to select your content whether it's a text image audio structure data table whatever it is and apply the content on the pipeline object. That's all you really needed. And finally, in the third step, your job is to collect the result in the form of output, could be text, image, or the probabilities related to it, the problem which you have used to solve in this pipeline. And that's all you need to do in order to consume the Hugging Face Transformer pipeline. You can perform everything what we have talked here on your local machine as well as you can use the Google Colab. Looking at Hugging Face models repo, you can see that there are about 66,000 of these models available and these models are supporting the tasks such as computer vision, natural language processing, audio, multi-model, tabular, reinforcement learning. And you can also select this model based on this task classification. For example, the image classification, you have 770 models available where this model has been downloaded almost 487,000 times. For the natural language processing, if you are looking for the translation, you can look into the models available. And for any other task, text to image or image to text, you could see the DALI Mini here you can also look into the stable diffusion model. So these are the different models which has been uploaded from individual organizations including Google, Microsoft and many other organizations. And these models are immediately available for public to just consume. Here is the Delhi mini model card used in the transformer, few lines of code. So looking into these models, you could see that how the hugging phase to develop itself as the GitHub repo for the models that is already happening as we speak. 
Besides models, you can also look into the publicly available data sets which are uploaded from individual users to perform your own training or the tuning. You can actually either use the free version or you can also use the paid enterprise version of Hugging Face resources depending on your organizational or the personal need. Hugging Face Space is another brilliant way to deliver the AI models in the form of full-fledged web app written in Python programming language. Hugging Face utilizes its model hub in a way that anyone can write a very simple Python application to generate the user-facing web UI to deliver the results through its AI model. The Python app is just very simple Python application to load modules and create the UI which can collect the input from the consumer. Depending on the input, the models will be loaded and the model will be applied to the input data and results will be delivered. Here is an example of Hugging Face Spaces. Various applications are already available which are using one or many of these models which are already hosted at Hugging Face Models Hub. I will take just one example. Let's take this example of Cartoonizer. Here somebody created a very simple application. We can look into the code in the app.py. You can save very quickly as a few lines of code is using a model and taking an image and converting it to cartoonized format. Looking into the application, I have dropped an image and we can cartoonize this image just by using this Cartoonizer demo application. Just using few clicks, anybody can create a very small app which can load one or multiple models and run them everything all at Hugging Face resources. Here are some of the examples of using Hugging Face Transformers pipeline in the Google Colab. Just installing the transformer and using the pipeline, you can create a text generation application which can generate the text. You can perform the sentiment analysis, just few lines of code. You can select a particular model which you are interested, which is already uploaded at the Hugging Face Model Hub and use that model to perform the task you are looking for, whether you would want to use the PyTorch or you would want to use the TensorFlow. Here is another example of using the default pipeline to perform the language translation from English to French. Here is the example of using the vision pipeline to perform the image classification task by using the default vision classification model or using the same pipeline to perform the image classification task but using a particular model which we are interested into and performing the vision classification. Here we are performing the image segmentation task by using a particular model. And here is another example of using a default model to perform the object detection task. So whether you are a software developer, machine learning engineer, data scientist, AI engineer, AI researcher, or anyone who is working in the field of artificial intelligence, if you are not using hugging face, it means you are missing a lot and you do not know it. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.